In this tutorial video, we're going to have a look at solving trig equations for which we'll need the trigonometric identities. Now, the two that in question that we might need are sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is identical to 1, and tan theta is identical to sine theta or cos theta. Potentially, in this type of question, they're both the trig identities that we might need. So here, part one, it says, show that the equation 2 sine squared x equals 5 cos x minus 1 <clears throat> can be expressed in that particular form there. So notice that there's a sine squared here. That tells me that I'm going to need this type of trig identity here that involves the sine squared and the cos squared. Moreover, I notice also that I've got a cos x there. Now, there's no trig identity that'll turn just a cos x into a sine x. Therefore, I'm stuck with using cos x's. That tells me further that it's the sine squared x that needs to change. So notice rearranging this, I get sine squared x. I'm taking cos squared x to cos squared theta to the other side. I get sine squared x is 1 minus cos squared x, replacing the theta with an x. Okay, so now replacing that, I get 2. 1 minus cos squared x equals 5 cos x minus 1. Multiplying that bracket out, I get 2 minus 2 cos squared x equals 5 cos x minus 1. Then taking everything over the right hand side, I get 0 equals 2 cos squared x plus 5 cos x, then take 3, which is what we're asked to show. We're asked to show that 2 cos squared x plus 5 cos x minus 3 equals 0. So part 2, hence solve the equation. Well, notice that this is the exact same equation I started with. So actually, I've simplified a little bit. I've turned it into a hidden quadratic with 2 cos squared x plus 5 cos x minus 3 equals 0. So that's a quadratic equation in cos x, sort of a hidden quadratic. So what we can do now, we can go to our quadratic solver. The question doesn't ask us to show detailed reasoning or full working out, so we can go straight to the equation solver. So, polynomial of degree 2, and it's 2 squared term, 5 is the linear term, and minus 3 is the constant term. So, I get that cos x equals, in this case, 1 half. Make that a little bit neater. So cos x equals 1 half. Press equals again to get cos x equals minus 3. Now, alarm bell should ring at this point because the cos function only goes all the way up to 1 and all the way down to minus 1. So there's no way cos can take a value of minus 3. So that must be an invalid solution. So just cross it out and write next to it, invalid. So we've got one equation to solve now. Cos x equals a half to solve between 0 and 360. So getting the first solution, go back to ordinary calculation mode. So inverse cos of one half. get our first solution which is 60 degrees so inverse cos of a half x equals the inverse cos of one half which is equal to 60 degrees so finding all the corresponding solutions Drawing the cos graph between 0 and 360 gives us that. And we want everything with cos of a half, so roughly half, let's say there. Doesn't have to be that accurate. And our first solution is here at 60 degrees. So imagine someone standing at the front of the graph there. 
to get the first solution that person has to walk 60 degrees so the corresponding point on the graph they also have to walk 60 degrees which means that x equals 60 and 300 take 60 but sorry 360 take 60 which is 300 degrees making the answer prominent and we're done for more videos like this go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our youtube channel